What's happening everybody, Jay Shock Blast here, and oh my god, I cannot believe I actually own this bad boy. It is the Marvel Cinematic Universe Avengers Assembled Phase 1 Movie Collection, uh, six discs, and um, it has the first six movies of the uh, Marvel movie lineup of things and um you know honestly it's not something that I, I i have most of the movies um and it's something that i i really didn't anticipate i would ever have the opportunity or i, I would actually end up buying um just because it retails for 220 dollars uh for some reason i thought it was even more expensive than that at one point um but i saw uh, that Amazon, as you can see right here, has it for $121.99 for Amazon Prime members. Uh, so I said, yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So it comes with Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk on Blu-ray. And I did not have those uh, in my collection yet. Uh, then it has Thor, Captain America, and Avengers, which I do have. Um, Blu-ray and 3D Blu-ray. So, uh, comes with a bunch of stuff. I really, really like the minimalist, um, you know, covers. I thought that was really cool. So I always wanted that. It has a bunch of this kind of senseless file stuff. And then it's got the main event, which is the, the suitcase with the Tesseract. So, uh, I already kind of slid open, uh, the top here. So let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out of the box. Um, put my camera down for a second while I do this. Come on. It's very tightly packaged. This is one of the downsides of doing unboxings is the actual unboxing. <laughs> the actual act of taking something out of the box is not very exciting. Especially when you try to do it with one hand. Um, so, yeah, it's very, very packaged. Uh, it was a challenge to, to even get this thing out. Um, geez, come on. The struggle is real. Oh my god, I cannot believe... All right, wow. Trying to do that with one hand, uh, not advisable. So uh, this is the suitcase. It says Marvel's Avengers right there. I know that this has been out for a while, but um, you know, again, I just got it now. So uh, there it is with the shield logo on the front. It lights up. Uh, the little handle is uh, not the easiest to uh, take from its little ledge, but whatever. Um, it, wow, really? Not quite sure, uh, there we go. There it is. So that's pretty awesome. It's got this little uh, keypad, um, you know, fake circuitry, and it's got the movies, which kind of pull the little plastic piece off. Uh, so there's Captain America, the first Avenger. Love, 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 love the artwork. Uh, there's Thor. Uh, there's the Avengers. And these do open. So. Um, you, know, you can't really tell what they are that way, which, uh, you know, I feel like they could have invested a little bit more in the packaging if you will 
Um, wow, come on, stay up. I hate it when you're trying to make a video and, and things don't want to cooperate. Uh, there is Iron Man 1. Uh, the Incredible Hulk. Iron Man 2. And S.H.I.E.L.D. Avengers Initiative. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Probably behind the scenes stuff. Um, and there came a day, a day unlike any other, when Earth's Mightiest Heroes found themselves united against a common threat. To fight foes, no single superhero could withstand on that day the Avengers were born. So this is Phase 1 Archives. So, uh, pretty awesome. Again, geez, come on, stay up. Really not that much to ask. So, um, I feel like it would have been nice if the names of the movies were on the side, even though these are super thin. Um, they're definitely making their money at full retail, $219. And uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, they're making their money at $122. So, um, I mean, this is definitely a cool display piece. Um, I'll probably have it on display kind of like that um, once I set everything up. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this down for a second here. Um, the files are all in plastic. Um, this says open immediately. I really wish the, the folder wasn't sealed because I feel like if it wasn't sealed that it would uh, um, I don't know I just feel like it shouldn't have been sealed so it is a, uh, a shield agent access card uh, there is some form of a code on the back um, I don't know what the code is for um, so, field agent access code, I'll figure that out at some point, that's kind of cool, I'm going to keep that in my wallet, um, you can kind of see there's like a holographic image there, So, there's that. We'll go ahead and let you stare at that image for a minute. Now we'll actually open these files. So it comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity, one of a limited edition, it's from 2012. So again, I realize I'm a little late with the video, but um, you know, Tesseract transportation case field instructions, uses AAA batteries. Uh, security level 7 or above required. Uh, it's information on the Tesseract, which is kind of cool. Um, this is classified inactive Captain America. Just kind of a, a file on Captain America. Agent Romanoff, subject Tony Stark. Uh, it's got some newspaper clippings. Some drawings, Stark stuff. Oh wow, Stark Expo ticket. Uh, Stark Expo, Aldrich Killian's business card. For immediate release, we no longer 
make weapons. This is hard to do with one hand. And, uh, yeah. Field filed Agent Colson Punto Antiguo recruitment assessment. <laughs> Thor. Jane Foster. Um, these are super cheap cards in New York State. Dr. Blake ID license thing. Bifrost Rainbow Bridge paper. Again, super hard to do with one hand. And uh, Agent Romanoff, Dr. Bruce Banner recruitment assessment. So, some, you know, they do a good job of making it seem like these are, um, uh, these are straight out of the, uh, the files of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, at the end of the day, it's useless paper. What you're paying for are the movies and this uh, little briefcase here. So um, if you weren't aware that this is uh, pretty much half off at this point, or almost $100 off for Amazon Prime members, uh, definitely something you might want to check out if you've always wanted it like I did. Um, I mean, 122 Essentially, you're buying the movies. If you don't have the movies, it's even better. If you do, then, you know, whatever. Um, but you're buying the case, and uh, it's a cool case. I like it. I wish that when you take the movies out, this thing didn't come up so easily. Uh, I wish that was in place more, and wow. Um, it's just a plastic square. So, you know... And it's actually even wrapped in plastic, so there's that. And all it does, it looks like, is... Maybe it's actually not even lighting up. Um, no, it is. Yeah, anyway. Um, there she is. Uh, it's actually just resting on that light down there. So it's not even really lighting up. Um... You know, I guess when you make collectibles like this, you kind of maybe expect a little bit more. Um, the case is definitely not metal. It's like a faux plastic kind of thing. Certainly, um, you know, much more, much less uh, of a frustrating purchase if uh, you are paying 122 as opposed to the people that paid full price. Um, but, I mean, hey, it's a cool collectible piece. I'll definitely have this on display. Um... I hope everybody enjoyed the video. You may have already seen these before, but um, hey, I got it now finally, so pretty excited. Uh, we'll catch everyone later. See ya.